Listening comprehension. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part one. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on the answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. They're leaving the room. B. They're turning on the machine. C. They're sitting at the table. D. They're reading the newspaper. Statement C. They're sitting at the table is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now let us begin part one with question number one. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. The man is putting on a hat. B. The man is mowing the grass. C. The man is resting on a bench. D. The man is lying on the grass. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. The people are taking a boat trip. B. The boat is lying on the beach. C. The people are getting out of the boat. D. The boat is passing under the bridge. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. There is a ski lift going up the mountain. B. A man is shoveling snow off the street. C. There is a large mountain in the background. D. The hill is covered with leaves. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. A tractor is parked in a field. B. The plants have been pulled up from the field. C. The crops have been planted in rows. D. The trees are being trimmed. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. One man is prescribing some medicine. B. A doctor is filling in some medical forms. C. The patient is about to have a chest X-ray. D. Doctors are performing an operation. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. He's watering the lawn. B. He's pushing a wheelchair. C. He's operating a lawnmower. D. He's sitting on a stair. Number seven. Look at the picture marked number seven in your test book. A. The man is about to board a bus. B. The man is entering the building. C. The man is carrying a briefcase in his hand. D. The man is walking across the street. Number eight. Look at the picture marked number eight in your test book. A. Some people are waiting to cross the street. B. The man is parking his car near the curb. C. Some people are standing at the rear of the car. D. Lines are being painted on the road. Number nine. Look at the picture marked number nine in your test book. A. 
The man is resting in the shade of the building. B. The man is throwing garbage into the trash can. C. The man has put a briefcase on his lap. D. The man is riding his bicycle through the park. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. The people are talking to each other. B. The two people are standing at the outdoor telephone booth. C. None of the telephones are in use. D. Some people are waiting to use the payphones. Part 2 Directions You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now listen to an example question. You will hear, Where is the meeting room? You will also hear, A. To meet the new director. B. It's the first room on the right. C. Yes, at 2 o'clock. The best response to the question, Where is the meeting room, is choice B. It's the first room on the right, so B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now let us begin part 2 with question number 11. Number 11. Have the test results arrived yet? A. In a couple of months. B. Yes, they've just come in. C. I'll take a taxi. Number 12. Who was awarded the sales contract? A. A Swedish firm. B. They've received their reward. C. There are so many. Number 13. When will you be ready to leave for the presentation? A. Any time now. B. I have a present for you. C. I left it on your desk. Number 14. Where did they store the old files? A. Let's go to the store. B. I need to file the papers. C. In a warehouse near here. Number 15. How do you like the new air conditioning system? A. It's cold all the time. B. I want to fly in the air. C. I really like the computer system. Number 16. Can you go to lunch tomorrow or do you have other plans? A. It's very funny. B. Actually, I'm going to Seoul tomorrow. C. I want to see the building plans. Number 17. Does anyone know how to start this projector? A. There's a button on the back. B. She just started to work yesterday. C. It's my turn to work on Saturday. Number 18. Why are you working so late tonight? A. I came in late this morning. B. There are many employees. C. I missed my regular train. Number 19. Why don't you plan to come by my office for coffee next week? A. I like the taste of coffee. B. Fine, we can discuss your concerns. C. There are a couple of offices. Number 20. 
What caused the president to resign? A. Very poor company performance. B. I think he left last year. C. Yes, he is our president, Mr. Randolph. Number 21. These financial reports have been approved, haven't they? A. Yes, so you may read them now. B. You have trouble with finances. C. He is waiting for approval. Number 22. Did you study corporate finance at the university? A. Yes, I took one semester of it. B. No, the university was expensive. C. I have trouble studying. Number 23. What time is the downtown library open until? A. 9 at the latest. B. I'm going downtown right now. C. The subway is faster to get there. Number 24. Will the new advertising campaign be launched soon? A. It'll be held in our sales branch. B. There'll be champagne with it. C. I heard early next month. Number 25. Don't you want to come with me to the symposium? A. It's quite cold in here. B. I'm going there by plane. C. Sorry, I've already made other plans. Number 26. Whose shopping bag is this on the table? A. Oh, you decided to go shopping. B. Yes, this is the table we reserved. C. That belongs to me. Number 27. Excuse me, how can I find the customer service department? A. It's on the third floor right next to the stairs. B. I believe you'll find it quite satisfactory. C. Yes, their service is excellent. Number 28. Why will your office be closed next week? A. Everyone will be on vacation. B. Only a few offices. C. We're close to the line. Number 29. The architect had to change the design, didn't he? A. Yes, the building will be taller. B. I like your advertising designs. C. It is time to change clothes. Number 30. How did the award ceremony go? A. I took a taxi to the ceremony. B. The speeches were pretty short. C. Right next to the hotel. Number 31. Are you planning to leave for Paris tomorrow or on Friday? A. We're opening a branch in Paris. B. Early Friday in the morning. C. The seminar will be held on Friday. Number 32. Do you know when the delegation will arrive at our headquarters? A. In the late afternoon. B. We should plan better. C. That would be great. Number 33. Isn't your presentation scheduled for next month? A. Inefficient scheduling, I guess. B. We're totally booked up next month.
C. Yes, the third week. Number 34. What is the best way to download the new software? A. You'll have to log on to the company's internet site. B. Watch your step there, the ground is really slippery. C. That is a heavy load, can I help carry something? Number 35. Have you ever been to Niagara Falls in the U.S.? A. Yes, it's a wonderful restaurant. B. Sales are falling since last quarter. C. No, but I'll go there some day. Number 36. Where do I submit these travel expenses? A. In the accounts office on the second floor. B. As long as it's affordable. C. You have to submit it by 5 o'clock. Number 37. Why don't we just take a taxi to the airport? A. That's a good idea. B. About $45. C. Yes, I'll take some. Number 38. Which division earned the most money last quarter? A. By raising the interest rates. B. The Hong Kong sales office. C. Their advertising campaign. Number 39. Don't you think this product is expensive? A. Yes, they're on sale right now. B. We don't produce that anymore. C. It's reasonable for the quality. Number 40. It sounds like you want to quit your job. A. Yes, I'm trying to quit smoking. B. Business is going very well. C. I have too much stress every day. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Now let us begin Part 3 with question number 41. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. When will the company annual report be sent out? Is it any time soon? John, the production department chairman, will send it out as soon as he gets the numbers from sales. But we can't really estimate when that will be. I hope the result reflects all of our financial gains this last quarter. We worked our butts off, you know. Yeah, absolutely. It has to show all the gains so that we can receive our bonuses. Number 41. What department is sending out the annual report? Number 42. When will John send out the annual report? Number 43. Why do speakers want the report to reflect their financial gain? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. The property you suggested would be perfect for the newspaper office building. Did the real estate agent tell you about it? No, actually my husband did. He used to work for a real estate company. Oh, okay. He also works near the site, doesn't he? Yes, he does. You can almost say that the area around his workplace is in his hands. He knows everything about that place. Number 44. How did the women learn about the property? Number 45. 
What will be installed in that property they found? Number 46. What do you know about the woman's husband? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Did you hear about the problems the catering company had last week? It's really disappointing. Our company has always hired them for the past 10 years. Yes, I just talked with the receptionist at the main office. I think you should talk to the manager. We really need our banquet to go well. It's not only for us, but also for our clients. Yeah, we are very well aware of that. Don't worry about it. Everything will be just fine. Number 47. What is the woman disappointed about? Number 48. Who will the man probably talk to? Number 49. Why is the banquet important? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. I'm so glad we closed to do the inventory today. I'm exhausted from yesterday's sale. I tried to keep the display tables organized, but it was useless. I have to admit, though, I bought a shirt for myself during a break. Me too. The sale prices were just too good to miss, and the clothes were the best ever. Of course. Since we get the employee discount, the price is almost half of the original price. Number 50. Who most likely are the speakers? Number 51. How did they do in their sales yesterday? Number 52. Why did the speakers get clothes for themselves? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. The power is out on the entire block. People should be complaining to the power factory workers like crazy. Things were fine when I left work last night, though. How long have we been without the electricity? Since this morning storm, services should be restored around midday or late afternoon. Oh, no. That's just too late. I have to get ready for my date tonight. I have to look up what kind of outfit I should wear online. Number 53. When did the block lose the electricity? Number 54. What do you know from the conversation? Number 55. Why does the man need the electricity right now? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. We charge $35 per day for any vehicle. This is the cheapest price you can get from anywhere in Bloomfield Hills City. Other places rent at $45 normally, and vans are over $50. Great. I will take a large van for one week. I want a red one, by the way, if you have one. All right. Why don't you have a seat in the waiting room while we clean the van for you? Okay. Can you guys make sure to wipe the handle and stick for me? I don't like to touch what other people touched. Number 56. Where are the speakers? Number 57. How much is it to rent a van here? Number 58. What does the woman ask to be done? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Yasuo, are you going to the Mizukichi Industry Conference? It's tomorrow at 8 p.m. I still haven't decided yet. What's on the program? 
the president of the Solar Energy Corporation is giving a keynote speech about new energy sources. It will be pretty interesting. It will also help with our current research. No, I am sorry. I have piles of work to do. I can't finish them even if I pull an all-nighter. Number fifty-nine. What does the woman want to know? Number sixty. What is part of the program? Number sixty-one. Why can't the man go to the conference? Questions sixty-two through sixty-four refer to the following conversation. I'm going to the electronics store. Do you need more blank tapes? No, I'm fine. Are you thinking of replacing your stereo? I thought you bought your stereo a month ago. Oh, don't worry. I'm just getting a new cable. I'm not quite ready for a new stereo yet. Okay, good. Now you're starting to fix your bad shopping habit. I've been quite worried about it all along. Number sixty-two. Why is the man going to the store? Number sixty-three. What does she know about his new stereo? Number sixty-four. What do you know about the woman? Questions sixty-five through sixty-seven refer to the following conversation. Oh no! Our flights have just been cancelled. This is already our second time. I've got to be back by tomorrow morning, but there isn't another flight until tomorrow afternoon. We're really in trouble. I knew we would spend more time at this old smelly hotel. This is not even a hotel. You know what? Why don't we get an overnight express train instead? It should take us back to our place by tomorrow morning, right? Number sixty-five. How will the speakers get home? Number sixty-six. What happened to the speakers? Number sixty-seven. When will the speakers probably be back home? Questions sixty-eight through seventy refer to the following conversation. Hi, I was told to come to the security department to get a temporary ID badge for the ID that I lost. I see. Could I please get your name and your social security number? Yes,、yeah, sure. My name is Jane Crooks. Oh dear, I don't have my social security number, but I'm the sales manager. Don't you know me? I know you, but I'm sorry. We've been having spies in our company. I can't give you the temporary ID badge unless you give me your social security number. Number sixty-eight. Why is the woman visiting? Number sixty-nine. What information does the woman need to give the man? Number seventy. Why did the procedure get more strict? Part four. Directions. You will hear some short talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each short talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Now let us begin part four with question number seventy-one. Question seventy-one through seventy-three refer to the following announcement. Before we begin with our regular agenda, I just wanted to remind you there will be improvements made to the gas service this coming Tuesday. In order for the gas company workers to complete the upgrade safely, we'll have to shut down our boilers for most of the day. 
This won't affect any of our electrical services, so business operations should be normal. But the cafeteria will be closed since there won't be any hot water available. If you have any questions, you can call the facility's office at extension five 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 five. Number seventy one. What will be improved? Number seventy two. Who are the employees to contact if they have any questions? Number seventy three. Why will the cafeteria be closed? Questions seventy four through seventy six refer to the following announcement. Friend Seafood has the freshest seafood in town. The only way to get fresher seafood is to catch it yourself. So Friends is going to give you a chance to do just that. Just look for the entry blank in Friends' ad in today's newspaper. You and five of your friends could win a deep sea fishing trip aboard the Patchen fishing boat. The entry deadline is this Monday. So enter now, and in the meantime, come try the seafood we caught for you today. Number seventy-four. What does the ad emphasize about their food? Number seventy-five. What does the winner for the contest get? Number seventy-six. When is the deadline of the entry for the contest? Questions seventy-seven through seventy-nine refer to the following announcement. This plant has an excellent safety record, and we want to make sure it stays excellent. We have installed new machinery, so you will all have to take some extra precautions to prevent accidents. First, anyone using these machines must wear plastic safety glasses. They are stored in the equipment closet and are adjustable. For anyone who might need it, there is an eye wash facility by the main exit. Be sure to assist your coworkers if they require help. Number seventy-seven. Who is the speaker addressing? Number seventy-eight. What is the purpose of the speech? Number seventy-nine. What kind of equipment is being described? Questions eighty through eighty-two refer to the following instruction: The average age of our tourists is now younger than what it used to be in the past. Currently, forty-seven percent are singles under the age of thirty. Also, a growing proportion is using the internet to plan their trips. Of the tourists we surveyed, 55% use the internet to research travel products and services. We predict this will continue to increase over the next five years. So, whether you own a hotel, a tour company, or any other tourist operation, your most cost-effective way to reach a broad international market is by having a presence on the internet. No tourist business can continue to grow without it. Number eighty. What is the talk about? Number eighty-one. Who is the talk addressing? Number eighty-two. For whom is the new way of business intended? Questions eighty-three through eighty-five refer to the following voicemail message. Hello, this is Patch Geshi, owner and general manager of Geshi Construction. I will be out of the office from July fifteenth to July thirtieth. If you need to speak with me urgently, please call my assistant Shelley Crooks at extension six five three four, who will notify me. 
If your call is regarding the Taishin Hotel construction project, please call the project manager at extension 2333. Otherwise, please leave a message and I will return your call at my first opportunity. Number 83. When is Mrs. Geishi coming back? Number 84. Who should be contacted in an emergency? Number 85. Whom should people call regarding the Dacian Hotel construction project? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following announcement. Hello, everyone. Thank you for getting up so early today for the annual review of the computer industry. This morning, we'll have an overview of the growth and development of the industry, including a preview of new products and a discussion of trends. You'll see a brief video, and then we'll have a break for lunch. The afternoon will be devoted to presentations and workshops, and we'll reconvene at Red Robin for dinner. Number 86. When is the meeting? Number 87. What is the topic of the meeting? Number 88. What is scheduled in the afternoon? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. Welcome to the Great Lake Shiny Dancing Club. If you're here for the ballet class, that's on Wednesday, so please come back then. Before we start, I'd like to remind you of a few things. Only dance shoes may be worn on the floor. No street shoes, please. Second, we are very grateful to the Great Lake High School for letting us use their gym. So please help us keep the room clean. Tonight is our monthly introductory night. So if you're an advanced dancer, be prepared to help the newcomers. Okay, everyone find a partner and let's get started. Number 89. What kind of class is offered? Number 90. What are the advanced students advised to do? Number 91. How often is the introductory class offered? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. As many of you already know, Scott Brenner will soon be leaving his position as head of the Education Center. Scott has been with us for five years and has implemented many changes at the center in that time. Our staff has grown from just eight to more than 20 teachers and support staff members, and our course offerings have expanded correspondingly. Although he will no longer be working with us directly, we still expect to see him frequently when he begins his new position as assistant to the Minister of Education. Number 92. What is the purpose of the talk? Number 93. What has changed at the educational center over the last five years? Number 94. What is Scott's new position? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following. Announcement. If you will remember, we sent out the request for proposals for development of the new Civic Center on February 29th. As you can see from your summary sheet, we received 14 responses. 12 of them met our initial criteria. What I'd like to do today is focus on eliminating five or six proposals so that at our April meeting we can do an in depth analysis of the rest. Keep in mind that our goal is to select the final proposal by June and have the next project underway by next January.
Number 95. When was the request for the proposal made? Number 96. How many proposals were received? Number 97. What is the purpose of this meeting? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following announcement. Our driver is going to stop here, and we're going to get off here. You'll have time for lunch. There are many fine restaurants in this neighborhood. But before that, I'd recommend taking a walk to admire some of the spectacular architecture nearby. On your left is one of the oldest buildings in the city, the central post office. You won't be able to go inside because it's closed on Sundays. But if you walk up the steps, you can look into the lobby. The whole building looks exactly as it did 150 years ago when it was built. Number 98. Who is the speaker? Number 99. What is the man suggesting? Number 100. What does the man say about the post office?